Hey guys, so for today's mini lesson, we're going to learn about the five steps of the research process. This is something that's not only reinforced here in the OneNote, but is also um, visible in the classroom. If you look up from the rectangle kind of to the left, you're going to see that the five steps of the research process exist up there. So that can always kind of serve as a reminder for you. All right, guys, let's get to it. So as always with our mini lesson, we're going to start with the what, we're then going to get to the why, and we'll then review the how. Finally, you'll have an opportunity to summarize your learning, and with any questions that you might have, you're then going to go ahead and enter them into the Padlet that you're going to see as part of step three. Right now, guys, let's go ahead and get started with the what. So what is our goal for today's mini lesson? Well, our goal for today's mini lesson is to construct a foundational familiarity with the five steps of the research process. Over the course of the next couple of months, we're going to be constructing a foundational knowledge, even a fluent understanding with these steps. But today is just for you to get your feet wet. And why are we doing this? Well, as we've learned, independent research is an essential skill to have in the 21st century. As we also have learned, it can be quite overwhelming to try to sort through all of the information that is available these days. As such, the middle school social studies team has put together a step-by-step -step process for you to follow to support you in your work. In this way, guys, we don't get lost in the woods of the internet and in the woods of our independent research. And let's go ahead and move on to the how. There are five steps associated with the research process. We're going to start right here at the top with step number one, which is plan. So step one, in plan, this is where you choose your topic to research, and this is where you develop your research question. In the plan step of the research process, it's also where you set yourself up for success. So before you actually start to conduct your research, you want to ensure that you kind of have a sense of things like due dates. You have a sense of organization, right? You're making sure that you are organized as an individual here. And additionally, you've made sure that you've set up your bibliography. A lot of this information can be found as subpages under the plan um, page in your OneNote. Now, once you've finished with plan, you then move on to locate. In locate, this is step two. This is where you use keywords and other search techniques and strategies to locate a variety of, oh, excuse me, a variety of reliable resources to answer your question. So in locate is when you actually pop on to Google. It's when you actually open the databases. And it's where you actually begin to find resources that you believe are going to help to inform your research and in turn answer the question. For step three, we have analyze. So once you've located, you're now ready to analyze. When we analyze, this is where we need to make sure that our resources are actually reliable, right? You've identified a resource in locate that you feel is going to help you, but you need to make sure it's reliable. Think back to our presentation about fake news. We're going to do this and we're going to ensure that our, our resources are reliable by using the crap test. After we've analyzed, we're now ready to investigate. Having confirmed that the resource is reliable, we're now going to collect, classify, and rank information that is useful, relevant, and impactful. Now, once you've investigated, you're not ready to move on to step five. Actually, you're going to move back to step two because all you've done so far is collected one resource. But to answer a research question, you're going to probably need a few different resources. So you're going to go back to step two, and you're going to then do step two, step three, and step four all over again. <clears throat> you're going to do that a few times. Once you feel, though, like you've collected enough information, you're ready to actually demonstrate your proficient understanding or exceed an understanding of your learning, you're then ready for step five. In step five, this is communicate. And this is where you actually demonstrate your learning to me. And as you know, with this unit, you're going to have a lot of choice and a lot of autonomy in determining how it is that you actually want to demonstrate your learning. All right, guys, having watched this video, which is step one, you're now going to go ahead and move on to step two and then step three. Thanks, guys.